Hello friends, welcome to another video. In this video we are going to talk about another top uh, and functionality. Actually we are not going to use top and function but we are going to achieve something similar. What we are going to do here is we are going to take top and based on the share percentage. Let me actually explain what does that mean. Um, I prepared a excel sheet to simplify the explanation. Let's look, look at excel sheet and then uh, go to power bi and look at the solution. So here in excel sheet I have a very simple data. So what I have is a product here for example and then this is their sales. So product and sales. And here I just did the, this, I sorted it by uh, the sales amount higher on the top. So sorted it by uh, most sales to the largest to the smallest uh, sales. And also here I have the running total. Just to give you an idea. Is a formula used. So running total. So here I have, of course, that's pretty straightforward. So the total sales is $1,000. So this is what it is. Now here is the share of each product. So this uh, of the total sales. So this product, product A has a 30% sales percentage. This is 20, this is 15 and how much they shared towards the total sales. So each product has their own share percentage. Now the question that we want to answer here is what are the product which are contributing 50% um, of the total sales uh, or in what if parameter it could be what are the products which are contributing 70% of the sales or 10% of the total sales. So here I just did in a simple demo. So I'm give, I'm saying here is okay give me the top 50% product. So as we see uh, uh, 320 which is a $500 uh, and that is the 50% sales. So these two product A and B are contributing 50% of the sales because total sales is $1000 and uh, these two are uh, contributing 500 so that's a 50 percent so if i so that's what highlighted here as a, a red the product which are actually that should be in here which are contributing the 50 percent of the sale 83 percent here so these are the products which are contributing to the 83 percent of the total sales the, the way i have sold here in excel is whatever the percentage we are trying to say top 70 percent then I'm finding, okay, what is the remainder of that? So that is 1 minus 70, which is 30%. So there is this running total of the percentage starting from the top, which is 30, 20, 15, 10. So this is what the um, running total of the percentage is starting from the top one, because that's the 100%, basically going from uh, minimum to maximum. And then the most, the, the higher sale will be always 100%. So then what I'm doing here is anything in the running total percentage is above 30% is the what we are interested in and that is what it contributed towards the uh, percentage what we are looking for. So for example here I say a 90%. So these are the product which are contributing up to uh, 90%. So if we sum these up, so those are 910. So 910 is the total sales for these products so which is above 90%. Um, so this is what uh, we are how we are calculating now we're going to do the similar thing in power bi using dax uh, it's a bit complex a um, little bit advanced but again i will try to walk through the whole process how this gets solved in power bi in dax and go step by step let's look into power bi file and go from there Okay, here is Power BI file, um, PBX file. Um, I missed to mention this question was actually posted in Power BI community forum and the user supplied the um, PBX file. So what he has is a, a, a what I showed is a, a simplified Excel version with only product, but he has like two level, uh, local product group unit and the supplier. So he wanted to find out like top 80% supplier within, within the each product group unit. So here is a simple data. So, okay, so we have one table only and uh, which is which has a, a, a local product group unit and the supplier and the local sum is just a sum. And then uh, product group sum is another measure uh, which is just giving the uh, sum of each product group. 
and uh, again i'm not going into those my years those are pretty straightforward and then percentage is just a uh, local sum divided by the pro group sum so that is giving the um, share of the each product group um, the, each supplier within the product group um, so again um, what we saw in excel file uh, first we need to create a running total of each uh, percentage so i just can show how we're going to do the percentage uh, running total of percentage so i'm just going to create another uh, measure here just to explain that but that's not the measure we're going to use but i just want to show you how you can do the a cumulative percentage or running total maybe i call it running total percent and what that would be because we want the running total percent within uh for each supplier uh, uh sorry uh, for the each supplier within the product group and uh, from uh, smallest to highest so the highest number will be always 100% as we saw it in Excel file. Um, so what that is going to be, first we will store the percent in a variable, uh, our measure. And then what we're going to do here is uh, sum max. So we're going to filter all selected. Here what we're going to do here is a local product group unit and supplier i don't know it does not auto pick supplier i don't know for whatever reason so supplier and uh, then what we're going to do here is um, so we selected um, uh, local group unit and supplier and here what we're going to do percent is greater than or equal to percentage and a table one local product group unit is equal to max because we want within that particular group unit uh, so we filter for that one perfect make it a little smaller and now uh, we sum the percent so let's see what does this look like if i add this measure to our matrix visual so here you go so within uh, first product group so starting from the lowest value which is 1200 and it's going up and the highest value which is um, uh, this number so we have a hundred percent here similarly when we are in the next product group unit uh, same thing happening so this is the running total percentage again this is just want to demo how how you can achieve that uh, but this is not what we're going to use in our final measure so so this we uh, we calculated and going to remove it for now so let's go to the, our actual measure which we are going to use. So what we want to call that is a top contributed based on based on the what if parameter. So let's say top supplier. And what we will first thing what we will do is uh, uh, what is our uh, what if uh, remind, remainder. So that is one minus um, what if value which is select to percentage value. Okay, so that's the first thing. And now what we do need to do is we need to calculate a table here. I will try to explain what the table is going to do. So first what we need is we need a table of all the supplier, all selected uh, local product group unit, and then also supplier so this will give me um sorry supplier so this will give us everything all pro all the uh, pro group and all the suppliers but we want to filter on the uh, whatever the supplier is in the in the context uh, when we are looking at uh, in in the matrix visual so how we can filter for that is we can pass the values and local product group unit and why we are doing this because when we are at the group level, at that grand total level, we want um, all the local product group unit uh, uh, sum uh, works out correctly. So we will see the when we see the final result, then then that will help us to understand why it is not uh, values. Okay. So once we have this and uh, we add a column, uh, what the column we are adding, so we're going to add a percentage for the each supplier. Why are we doing this? Because we need to calculate the running uh, running total. And percentage. Okay, so now we have a table 
for each product group unit and each supplier within that product group filter for the local product group unit which uh, in the context we are looking at uh, and then have a percentage um, added to the to the table so now we have another table what we will call a, a running total table maybe that will be supplier running total so within the each product group unit what we're going to do is add columns so we use our table and then we're gonna uh, the column which we're going to add uh, to this table is called running total percentage and what we're going to do here is first we're going to store the um, current row percentage so that is our PCT Th again this is uh, this uh, from this particular table that uh, at the rate of PCT the column name we gave and also we're going to say current row uh, product group because we want to filter for, for one specific product group. So that would be local product group unit. Again, that is coming from this table. And now we're gonna return, what we're going to do is sum max because we want to calculate the running total percentage. So what that would be, uh, filter the table which we already created, filter that table for local product group unit. Again, why we are doing this is because uh, at the grand total level the, the sum should turn out to be correctly. Otherwise, it will. if we don't do this, it would not work um, uh, correct at the tot grand total level. So that is current row product group and our percentage is less than or equal to uh, the one which we stored in a variable which is called current row percentage. and then we're gonna sum percentage. So this, what this is, this code is doing, it is filtering our table for the specific current row product group. And then uh, we are uh, calculating the running total. So this is, so we added a column, which is running total percentage to our existing table. Now from here onward, it should be pretty straightforward. What we need to do is var, so we can filter this table, uh, which meets our uh, uh, condition. So filter supplier. So what does that means is filter our uh, supplier running to table where a RTPCT, which is running total percentage is greater than or equal to um, what if remainder. So, so now what this filter supplier has given us is given the supplier within the each product group which meets a uh, condition or the criteria of what if parameter or the top of what we're looking for. Now it is pretty straightforward. From here we can have a calculate our sum measure and then filter uh, for the suppliers. So filter supplier table and that should do it if everything worked out fine. So top supplier here, if I drop this measure here. Uh, no, something is not working. So where is the mistake? I see, um, I think, um, not think, but I, we need to um, keep filters because we want to pass the row contacts to the measure. I think that should do it. So let's see. Here you go. So, so this is what the top 8% is within the each uh, product group unit. So let's change it to top maybe uh, that's top 60%. So these are the one which contribute top 60% as you can see. Um, so maybe top 80%. Here you go. So within each group, whatever is contributing to the top 8%. 80% uh, those are the suppliers we are looking at so if I remove all other measures uh, now if I remove all these measures so now I have a top suppliers uh, given the percentage uh, within each product group unit so if I change it to 60% uh, that's what we what we get Again, this was a little bit a, a little complicated DAX, but once you uh, 
um, um, work through the Excel file and try to figure out what the formula you are looking for, then you can recreate the same calculation in, in, in DAX in Power BI. I hope you find it useful. Maybe you're able to learn something from here and tweak it the way you want it. Until next video, have a good day. Do subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Bye for now.